Hello, I'm Fiverr Nova. My name is either Hir or Lemon. Lemon is a little bit easier to pronounce. My pronouns are he, him, and this is my first time doing a voiceover. It is not my first time. I've done this five of the times, practically every single one, because I go on too many tangents. <laughs> so, hello. <laughs> I'm going to talk about art now. This piece was done for Darren Week back in September on Twitter. Uh, at Randaza Week on Twitter, if you'd like to see all of the <laughs> entries, very good, very very good. Which is kind of why I like joining these types of things. They like not only do I get a prompt list, I also get to see how other people interpreted the prompts. It was very very cool. Uh, kudos to all the artists and fic writers who took part. Brilliant! It was a fun week. <laughs> uh, real quick, please not call my art Suheki in the comments. I will link a reason why, but basically TLDR, the name Suheki just means double jade. It's not a name like specifically to Daza and Rampo in the same way that Sukoku or Shin Sukoku are specific to Daza and Juya slash Akutagawa and Asashi respectively. You, I'm not saying don't call Sukoku that ship name. Do it. Like, that's their ship name. Do it. <laughs> but um, with Suheki, it's not as specific. Like, if you look up the Japanese term for Suheki it's not Darren art <laughs> you just see a bunch of other stuff so I would kindly ask that people do not call my art specifically Suheki but I also you know if you want to tag your own stuff as Suheki fine <laughs> but you know I'm not going to police you but please do not call other people's stuff the ship name unless they've called it them that themselves oh my god <laughs> tongue twister <laughs> um so this prompt goes based off of the prompt this drawing is based off of the prompt twilight <laughs> fun fact if you just google the name twilight if you aren't sure what it is you just get the movie <laughs> so that's fun or film i guess i don't know so you have to google twilight definition which is very fun for me trying to know what hell a twilight was like specifically um it is the meeting point between the sun and the moon when the sun is falling and the moon is rising um in the evening i believe <laughs> or is it the other way around don't know <laughs> one of them is dusk and one of them is twilight i always mix the two up it doesn't matter it's the meeting point in the local hemisphere and i really wanted to explore this idea of a sun and a moon meeting because i'm a sucker for those types of romances where like <laughs> they can only see each other for a certain amount of time and it's just a very cute idea. <laughs> I really like this idea of Dazzler being a moon moon deity, god, whatever, and Rampa being one, one of the sun, like a little bit like Artemis and Apollo, except they were siblings, I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is, has, you know, this idea of like, one is, what they're polar opposites almost. Um, I took inspiration from, uh, Celtic, specifically Welsh and Scottish myth. Hello, I'm Welsh. <laughs> uh, there's this Welsh story about two people, two just like human priests, meeting up in the middle of an island every day. One of them is always facing the sun when he walks to the middle of the island every day, and one of them is always facing the back. Kelby is the one facing the sun, Sadiel is the one whose like, back is to the sun all the time. And they do that, and so Cubby, like... <sighs> The term is Hugh Heil, like, sun kiss, I guess. <laughs> like, he, he gets tanned from the uh, from the sun, whereas Sadol, only the back of his, like, nape gets tanned and the rest of him is very pale. I like this idea of, like, lack of sun versus abundance of sun. And this, like, warmth that comes with the sun, whereas this, like, coolness that comes with the lack of the sun. Sadol specifically isn't associated with the moon. <laughs> I just, I like this con. I just like the concept of Cubby being associated with the sun, and this like abundance and this warmth, and which is I tried to <laughs> incorporate it in Rampo's design, whereas with Dazai's I really like this like cool tones. <laughs> um, Rampo's outfit specifically is inspired a little bit on, uh, I don't remember the name, <laughs> on a Scottish, um. Like sun god i saw some traditional dancing of it and i really like the way that they incorporate like the, you know the reds and the oranges and the yellows and these ribbons in the hair i really like that that was really cool <laughs> um whereas for dazzle i don't like i i can there was no like 
very quick Google search result for if there was, like, a moon god in any Celtic mythology. Um, so he just got a generic moon god design. <laughs> and I'm not saying that Rampart is the is the Scottish god of the sun. However, I just took a little bit of inspiration from the dance that is done in the festival of... It starts with a beat. I will probably put the name up on the screen. <laughs> um, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> I've tried this five times. I'm tired of trying. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you like the piece. Um, Stan Daran, I guess. <laughs>